Hello. Or this problem. Here. Um, a fitness center is interested in finding a 90% confidence interval for the mean number of days per week that Americans who are members of a fitness club go to fitness. Records of 227 members were looked at and their mean number of visits per week was 3.4 with a standard deviation of 1.7. To compute this, it's a T distribution because the standard deviation is from the sample, not the population. Um, to find the 90% confidence interval, we come over here on the Excel. We put our sample size, which was 227 members. Our mean um, 3.4, standard deviation 1.7. We said it was a T and the confidence was 90% or 0.9. And here's our um, confidence interval. For um, the last part, what you're doing is just explaining the confidence interval. If many groups of 227 randomly selected members are studied, then a different confidence interval would produce from each group. About 90% of the time, it will have the true population mean, and then 100 minus 90 is 10. 10% of the time, it will not have the true population mean. So it just means that 90% of the time, when you get a sample, the population mean is in there, and 10% it's not.